I'm not usually in the habit of reading things eh, when I'm talking to the public, but because this is a very delicate legal issue, Malemba, I have to be cautious. Niko hapa leo na wenzangu ambao wanaakilisha nyumba zetu zote silizoko hapa Kakamega kulingana na tokeo ambayo ilisababishwa na kifo cha mfanyikazi wangu Kizito Moi Amkune kilichosababishwa ni kwamba kulitokea tetesi eti mimi nimeua huyo mfanyikazi wangu na hayo madai ilitolewa na mwanabiashara ambaye anafanya kandarazi na county government ya Kakamega kwa majina Cleophas Shimanyula Toto I therefore have the following statement to read this is a media briefing on the death of Kizito Moi Amkune. Kizito Moi Amkune was my bull. Kizito Moi Amkune was my fighter bull caretaker who served me faithfully for around 20 years. On the evening of 27th of January 2024, he was gored to death by fighter bull Inasio. His body was found lifeless in a pool of blood and mud on the morning of 28th of January 2024. The police took over and moved the body to Kakameka County Referral Hospital mortuary after sealing the scene of the incidents. On the 29th January 2024, a post-mortem was done by, by a team led by the county pathologist, Dr. Dixon Muchana. This autopsy established that Gizito Moya Mkune had lost his life due to excessive bleeding caused by multiple injuries sustained from goring by the horn of a large animal. A contractor of the county government of Kakamega by the name of Cleophas Shimanyula Alias Toto disputed these findings by Dr. Dixon Muchana, which was also corroborated by police findings on the scene of the incidents. Glafas Shimanula, aka Toto, then went public with scandalous, defamatory, false, baseless, and unfounded claims as follows. One, that Kizito Moya Mukune was not killed by a bull, but that he was attacked by me, Senator Dr. Boni Halwale, and that I stabbed him with a knife, causing his death. Something I did not do. Two, that I, Senator Dr. Boni Halwale, went on and lied to the police and misled them to believe that the late was attacked and killed by a bull, which I did not do. Three, that I influenced the police in making their report on the investigations into the death of Kisito Moi Amkune, which I did not do. That I influenced Dr. Muchana in concluding from his postmortem findings that Kisito Moi Amkune was killed by a bull, which I did not do. That I, I, I had in, influenced the family of Kizito Moi Amkune to support the theory of death of their kin due to the, an attack by the bull, which I did not do. And finally, Cleofa Simanyola claimed that I purportedly killed Kizito Moi because he was having a sexual affair with 
my wife, which was and which is not true. Following these public wild scandalous defamatory false and baseless unfounded claims, the barrio of Kisito Moyam Kune was stopped by the police on the 31st of January 2024, even after I had made elaborate barrio arrangements. We were taken through more rounds of interrogations by the police on the 1st of February, on the 2nd of February, and it culminated in a repeat autopsy by the government pathologist, Dr. Johansen Oduor, on 3rd of February, 2024. This postmortem was attended by Dr. James Ahonya on behalf and on instructions of Mr. Cleophas Shimanyla Alias Toto. Dr. Dixon Muchana, homicide expert, a homicide and forensic experts from the National Office, together with I, also attended the second postmortem. Dr. Johannesson de Oduor concurred with the findings of the first autopsy, and Dr. James Ahonya, on behalf of Shimanyula, also made the same findings. The public claims by Mr. Cleophas Shimanyula, a.k.a. Todo, gained widespread publicity in the local and national print and electronic media as it did on social media where it has been trending to death. These vibes arising from Cleophas Shimanyula's have caused the following grievous personal and corporate injuries. One, to me, Dr. Boni Halwale, it has cast aspersions on my integrity, profiled me as a liar and as a murderer. Two, to the police. It has profiled the police in Malinya, in Kakameka County and in the region as incompetent and corrupt. Three, Dr. Dyson Muchana, these claims have profiled the doctor as incompetent and corrupt. Four, the county referral hospital. These allegations have profiled the county referral hospital as a den not of medical professionals but of quacks. Five, the office of the senator of Kakamega, it has been profiled to indicate that it is being served by a murderer. Six, the office of the Senate Majority Whip has been profiled to mean that it is served by a murderer. Seven, the voters of Kakamega who voted for me in the general election of 22 have been profiled to mean that they elected a liar and a murderer. Eight, all the people of Kakamega estimated at around 2.6 million who I represent have been profiled to mean that their representatives is a liar and a murderer. Nine, my wives have been profiled to mean that they are prostitutes. The wives I have are specific and they are as follows. One, Adelaide Halwale, who died five years ago, is my first wife. Two, Josephine Halwale. I beg your pardon. Wife number one is Adelaide Halwale, who died five years ago. She's the mother of my first three children. All copyrights of mine, no doubt about their paternity. Josephine Halwale, my second wife, she's the mother of three of my children. One who has completed university, the other two still at the university. All copyrights, there's been no complaint about their paternity. Three, Gloria Halwale, who is the mother of eight of my, my children. These eight, some are at the university, others are in lower levels of education. They are all my copyrights. They have never had their paternity in doubt. And finally, Diana Halwale, mother of three, all of them in lower uh, levels of education. 
the, children, the three children are among copyrights, none of them has been profiled as their paternity being in doubt. Number 10, aggrieved, is the family of Khalwale. They are being profiled as a home of a murderer. And 11, the culture of the Abakak Mega who practice bull fighting. I am the patron of that community. I am in our local palace referred to as Iriru, the Abakak Mega. An honor that you cannot rise to by claim, that you, you earn by demonstration over decades how you defend the community and the culture. They have been profiled as having identified a community leader who is a liar and who is a murderer. I wish to report today that I have recorded today a formal complaint with the police at Malinya Police Station and handed over the matter to my lawyers for further action in Nairobi. The further action for clarity involves a number of suits. We are proceeding and suing the contractor of Kakamega, Cleophas Shimanyula, a.k.a. Malala. Oh, oh their cousins are here. So, we are suing the contractor of Kakamega, I beg your pardon, Mr. Cleophas Shimanyula Toto. I'm suing. My wives are suing. My children, who are also adults, are suing. The parents of my wives are suing. The police will make up their own minds if they want to sue. I think they are going to. From what I have heard when I was uh, reporting the matter, Dr. Muchana is going to sue if he shows juices. So we would like Cleophas Shimanula to talk to come and present evidence that we are all of us, all these people, we are who he claims that we are. I have built a public service image of over 30 years, some of those years as a doctor and many of the other years as a political leader in this country. I have never been involved in a, in a scandal. I have a a spotless career of integrity and therefore I'm going to pursue the contractor of Kakamega County to its logical conclusions and I will use all my talents and resources to test the veracity of his statement and make sure that all aggrieved parties are properly compensated for the serious damage. Tomorrow I will do a press conference in Nairobi that we shall be led through by my team of lawyers who will tell the country how they will proceed thereafter. I would like, on this, for the sake of only three people, the youth of this county, the women of this county, and the men of this county to allow only three people to chip in before you ask any question. The first person when in Daomba. Sasa, niko na ujungu sana kama moja wa vijana wa hii Kakamega County na mama anatoka kwa area yangu. Mama anatoka kwa familia yangu. Hata mimi mheshimiwa nataka kukuambia as the community of Panyala we are going to see you Toto Kilewa Shimanyula kwa sababu tuko we are very much worried our sister ma, might end up losing the marriage because of such a stupid things so tunataka Shimanyula kuje kotini atuambie kama msijana yetu really ni malaya atuambie na tutolee hiyo ujuta tujue kwa nini ame accuse msijana wetu na watu wanavaholo tumekasirika tuko na majungu sana tunaenda kuchukua hiyo action Kesho pia mimi naenda kuandika statement na vaholo kama ndugu ya mama ambaye amechafuliwa China. Asanteni. On behalf of our women
Mimi naitwa Pamela Mirikao. Nimesimama hapa kwa ajili ya kulalamika kwa ajili ya wamama wote Kenya nzima kuanzia Kakamega County. Kuchafuliwa jina ya kwamba tunaweza lala na wafanyikazi. Hiyo ni ishara ya kuonesha kwamba wamama si wachafu wa kufanya jambo kama hilo. Kwa hivyo tunasimama na kushiu ya kwamba Mr. Toto ametuharibia jina na anastahili explain kwa nini ametuharibia jina kama wamama. Biblia inasema usishuhudie uongo kwa jambo ambalo haujui. Nimesema hivyo kama pastor. Asante. Aire sub county. Wamarama, nyumba ya Wamarama, Butere sub county. Okay, asante sana. Majina yangu ni Newton Muyira Werangai. Natoka Lugari. Mimi ni Mtachoni. On behalf ya watu wa Lugari wenye wamekuwa marafiki sana wa wa senator kwanza tunasema pole kwa yenye yaliyotokea na tunasema pole kwa family ya marehemu Moi kwa yote yaliyotokea lakini watu wa Lugari we stand to condemn the statement of one toto kusema kuwa senator Boni Halwale alihusika na kifo cha marehemu Moi sisi tunajua senator is a straightforward person ni daktari ni mtu mwenye amehitimu ame kuchunga maisha ni mtu mwenye amehitimu kutibu watu sio kuua watu hawezi enda kinyume na taaluma yake ya kutibu watu aende kuua watu sisi kama watu wa watachoni sisi kama watu wa lugari we condemn with the strongest sense chenye toto alisema na vile vile tunasimama na senator 